the legend, Jonathan Ploransky. Um, a little, a little bit about myself. I am an actor, singer, lifetime entrepreneur. I'm going from brick and mortar to the metaverse for you and bringing the information to you right here in the Executive Elite Club. So uh, tonight, I've been looking forward to this night. Uh, I've uh, Jonathan, I know pretty well, and uh, we've been uh, we've talked several times at a, at a couple of meetings here and there, and uh, I've just watched him explode on the. Uh, the videos he is awesome at the videos i can't wait to talk to him about that the 15 to 30 second videos and he is nailing it sam can you hear me out there give me a one sam if you can hear me and i see three people out there please uh people that are watching there is a crawl across the bottom of my screen that says go to streamyard.com forward slash facebook and if you'll do that it'll just ask you uh, to give permission for me to see your names. And that will also allow Jonathan to see your names so he can address you. If you don't do that, then we just see Facebook user. And that's no fun at all. We'd like to address you by, by your name. So I see three users out there, but I can only see Sam. So if you can uh, go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook and allow permissions, you'll never have to do it again for any other StreamYard presentation again on Facebook. So that would be awesome. So I see that we have four people in the club tonight. I do not know who you are. So, hey, give me a give me a one if you're out there. I see Sam is in the house. Who's that, who else is out there? Shoot me a one. Shoot me a one. Come on, let, let, let me see who's out there. Come on, let me see who's out there. Give me a one or a wow face or something. I know there's a little bit of a delay. Come on. Come on. I know you're out there. Give me a one. All right. Lucas is there. And then we got Facebook user Chelsea. So Chelsea, if you would go to right across the, the bottom there, streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, it'll just come up with a little blue button that says allow permissions. Just push that button. And that way we can see you and you won't have to tell me you're Chelsea anymore. And Sam, you're there. And Barry, if you would do the same thing, that would be awesome. You can just do it on another tab and it will, and you'll come right back to us. So, um, all right. So here we are. We've got some audience here going on for Jonathan Pluransky, a very good friend of mine. We went to insight together. I know a lot of you guys know what insight is and, uh, haven't seen him since. So without further ado, I'm going to bring Jonathan in. He has been in the green room. He had a lot of demands. Uh, I think I had to provide uh, prime rib for him and, uh, very demanding guy, but you know, as you get more famous, you get demanding. So let's bring Jonathan in here. We're going to add him to the stream. Hey, Jonathan, how are you doing, bud? Hey, Lee, what's going on? <laughs> Not much. Good to see you, man. Great to see you too. Thanks for yeah. having me. All right, awesome. Thanks for thanks for being here. So, Jonathan, I've got I I, I asked you some questions here that I that uh, I've got some answers to. So we're, before we get to the the meat of the thing, let's talk let's talk about you a little bit. So you're the oldest of two. Isn't that funny? So I've had two interviews now with entre online entrepreneurs. We had the Persias out uh, two weeks ago, and they are both oldest children, too. And you're the oldest kid, too, aren't you? I wonder if that means something. I am not the oldest kid. I am the seventh kid. So I, what does that mean for me? I don't know. Is that crushing? I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, so how's it? so um, also your, your dad was an entrepreneur also, sounds like. Yeah, so we grew up on a farm at, as young boys. We had, I had an awesome childhood. I'm very fortunate and grateful for that, for sure. Um, 200 acres. He owned his own uh, fence business at oh, wow. first, um, but it just beat the hell out of him to be completely transparent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, owned, he owned his own job, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So even to this day, he just retired as a union iron worker. So as he got older, he went into the union and now yeah. he has like no cartilage in his elbow and um, yeah. he's all beat up and I feel bad for him, but he was an awesome dad. And uh, yeah, being the older brother definitely was, you know, you always are the more dominant one and have the leadership yeah. role. And uh, my brother and I really get, really get along well though. So I was fortunate to have that too. Cause I know there's a lot of broken families out there and stuff, but we were all real close knit as we came up. 
<laughs> Look, looking at the comments here, Sam is the oldest one too. How many of how many of you out there are the oldest kid? I'm just curious. It's just it's just kind of a weird phenomenon that I'm starting to talk to people, and a lot of entrepreneurs are the oldest kid. It's, it's, it's unique. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about your your daytime your day day gig. I already know what it, I knew what it was before you wrote it down. But so you're a mechanic, hence the mechanics of money. So you write you are, are so do you are are you like the lead mechanic for a Mercedes? Place. Tell, tell, tell us, tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, absolutely. So as a young boy and everything, I always was always into mechanics with bicycles, dirt bikes, everything coming up. And then basically it was time high school ran out and it was like, what are you going to do for a living? And it was like, go to trade school or just find your own thing. And yeah. I went to trade school and advanced through there with high regards, 4.0, not whole nine yards. And then basically for the past 15 years, I've been working for Mercedes Benz as an auto tech. Um, I was really super disengaged about a year ago. Um, I struggled a lot personally and was going through a separation and stuff. I remember um, that. Um, basically what happened was I found the video that we've all seen and it really connected with where I was in my personal development needs. And um, yeah, I went with it, pulled the trigger and that actually really accelerate, accelerated my day job also. Um, because the service manager of the dealer wound up leaving and I had these new entrepreneur skills and mindsets that I was able just to go right up to the owner of my dealership and say, you know, this is what we're going to do. And I want full control of it. Wow. And I mean, it increased my income by 15%. <laughs> but nice. So it also like taught me a lot of things, you know, leadership skills and dealing with employees and hiring and firing. So, um, I mean, the overall goal is to be on my own as a solo entrepreneur online, you know, and that's taking off too. So it's it's a lot to handle. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't hurt getting leadership skills though from from you know yeah. from real jobs too. Hey, yeah. Sam Norris has got a question for you, a mechanic question for you before we get on to the other side. My 500 SL burned the wiring harness going to the third brake light. Do you know where I can find another one for a 1993? Wow, that's an old Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's that's a tough, uh, that might be a tough one for sure. I know there's some old vintage Mercedes, uh, like used car places out in California. I don't know them off the top of my head, but I would probably look out in California. Okay. On California <laughs> or Arizona, probably. Arizona's got some great junkyards too. But uh, Or Germany. Go to Germany, Sam. <laughs> but uh, When in doubt, uh, go to Germany. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I had, a, I had a 500 SL. God, it was probably, it was probably in 1990. Well, it wasn't in 1993 though. It wasn't new. I was in Germany. I I had a I had a 500 SL convertible. It was old though. Um, anyway, so I, I was looking at your dream, and you want to build project cars. So what, what what's your dream project car? Um, I mean, my dad has a '72 Chevelle that we that we Oof. rebuilt. But I'm wow. I, I like the old Chrysler stuff, like darts and stuff. But I mean, it's really expensive. But that's yeah. like my real dream, like a Coronet or a Dart. Wow. Um, my, brother had a, my brother had a Dodge Dart when he was growing up. Boy, if we could only have that thing now. <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, you want to, so I didn't know this about you, but you're a bike rider and this is like a bicycle bike rider, right? Yeah, totally. So I, I actually moved out to Denver for about five years. I'm from New Jersey right now. Um, okay. And when I was out there, I, I was always in like BMX and stuff as a boy and motocross. Yeah. And then, like we lived out in the country, so we didn't ride road bikes, we rode mountain bikes. But when I was out in Colorado, I started seeing all these avid cyclists and they had like loads of bike lanes. And I was like, man, why don't I just like start doing that? Like I started commuting to work because they have like hundreds of miles of these of these trails. And I really started like reverting back to my childhood again. It really started making me feel really good about myself because, you know, you get active at least like an hour a day and that just like it increases your whole mindset and things. Um, so, yeah, I started doing that. And then the person I was with at the time, she was like, why don't you like go to a race and like see what it's all about? Because I was always into racing and <laughs> I went to a race. I did well. And she's like, you know, why don't you get an actual road bike instead of using this like piece of crap hybrid mountain <laughs> bike and see what you yeah. can do? So we went down to the store in Boulder, Colorado, and we bought a $2,000 road bike. I took it for a test ride and it felt like a rocket ship. <laughs> and then from there I joined like a local bike club and then I wound up working my way up to like a semi-pro like level like division one like team and I wound up getting becoming semi-pro I went to like the tour of Hilo which is like 
arguably one of the biggest road biking events in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, had, a, had a load of fun. I was riding in like 12,000 miles a year. Um, I learned a lot about myself and like during that whole journey, like just mental strength. Like you go, you go through those races, you get to the end and your body is completely depleted. You need sugar. Like you're just like on the edge and like you learn about a lot about yourself in those times, you know? I think we lost your sound, Lee. It's, it's dead. <laughs> hear me now. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Okay, all right. They, uh, something must have been wrong with my mic. We got her fixed, though. Glad all we right, got well, her fixed quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, well, we'll go with the laptop mic. But uh, so, so in your dream, on your, on your dreams, you said that you'd want to you want to go watch the Tour de France. Awesome. That'd be, yeah, that would be absolutely. Like I have this uh, dream of just being like a digital backpacker riding through Belgium and watching the Tour de France and all those historic races. Um, it's, I mean, watching it on TV is amazing. So I couldn't imagine what it's like in real life. Seeing like just Europe in general is, looks amazing to me. Have it you been is. there lately or no? I have. I've, I, I spent, it, I was in the United States Air Force for uh, nine years. And about eight of those was in Europe. And I, I loved every second of it. I, 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 any day off I was out sightseeing. I mean, that's, that's what I did. So I look, so I got a Facebook user that says no sound Lee. So Facebook user and jo Facebook, Jonathan, so true about how writing makes us feel. So I'm guessing who's Facebook user. If you would go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook and allow permissions, we would know who you are. So Facebook user, who are you? You said hi, Lee. Oh, Sam Norris. Cl oh, it's Clark. Okay. <laughs> okay, Clark. I, oh, I should have known that. Clark's, Clark's a bike rider. Yep, I knew that. But uh, anyway, so... Uh, Moving on, uh, music, Eminem, love Eminem. Uh, I, I, I am, I'm an actor and, you know, I, and I act in theaters a lot. And uh, my pre-show warm-up is lose yourself. I, I, anybody who's acted with me, I'm sitting there backstage with Eminem, lose yourself, uh, cranking, cranked up in my earphones before, before, uh, before a show. But um, so, what's your favorite Sublime sh song? Uh, probably like 40 ounces of freedom, of course. I mean, huh? awesome. I, I would have to say, uh, 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 oh, what did I write down? I just actually went to a, went to a sublime show, obviously not the original. Like, right. Dude, they sound really good though. Really? And I got, huh? I got COVID during the contest. Or the concert. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's see, group group bike rides, that was what you kind of do when you're hanging out, 50, 50 plus miles. So how long does it take to do 50 miles on your bike? We average like between 17 and like 22 miles an hour. So sometimes as high as 25 miles an hour. So I don't know, like a couple hours. Oh, wow. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so now we're going to go into the meat of this deal here. So, um, so I've got... We've got, uh, I just wanted to say hi, recognize the people that have come on here since we've started talking. So we've got uh, Clark on here. Hey, Leslie, how you doing? Leslie's on, and I'm I'm guessing Facebook user must be Clark all the way across here. So, and then Sam, and that, there's a few others of you out here that I don't know who you are, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so since I saw you last, you've really went nuts. <laughs> On this 15 and 30 second uh, TikTok and in, uh, in video and uh, cross platforms, and seems like you're blowing up, man. I mean, what you got a thousand people in your group, I think, isn't there? Don't you? Something like yeah. that. I think yeah. We just lost 1,100 today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So talk to me. I mean, I I know that you have a course, and there's only so much you want to give away. But give away what you can. Tell me, tell give me, give us your elevator speech, man. Tell us, tell us what's going on. Tell us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally, man. So yeah. 
just run through it. So I was yeah. running ads and I just wasn't having good traction with it. I, I just had an intuition that like I had to do something different. I spent, yeah. I mean, I don't want to put the numbers up, but I spent like three grand, made like 800 bucks back. And yeah. I'm like, something's got to change here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's me. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically I adjusted my, my mindset and opted into another program after seeing a lot of people on TikTok really hitting that next mark and really growing organically. And I'm like, all right, well, I have this Facebook group that I'm really passionate about. I love providing tons of value to people and yeah. then I just need traffic to that group. And I feel like it'll really help accelerate people's lives and I'll be able to impact more people. So I yeah. leaned real hard into TikTok. I struggled like early on. I did struggle. I went through three different accounts, um, but then you know now I've got a really good strategy. I'm actually even pushing the limits on that now too um, to test. And I'm a big tester, man. I'm not like this guy that just likes putting out viral content all the time. I like to test things and you know provide the best feedback. You know, like I'm not like just looking to stay st like stagnant ever. Right. Um, so then I started moving people or finding people in my target audience and really testing my my real like like language and those the copywriting um, like who is my audience like who wants to identify with my group and who like who are my people you know yeah. um, I was doing four I'm, I do four videos a day twenty eight videos a week so that gives me four a four a day yeah so that wow. gives me a lot of content to really hone that messaging in. And I'm doing that in like one to two hours a day. Like I'm not like right. I was writing blog posts and doing YouTube videos and it was taking six hours before. And I was able only to do like two, two, two a week, you know? Um, so yeah, I really started leveraging that. And then like, I'm like, all right, now, now everyone's, I'm, I'm a very systematic thinker. So I'm like, all right, now that everyone's in the group, like what do I need to do in order to like connect with these people? with these individuals that like, I really want to know and help. So then I really yeah. started like getting in the DMS and like really establishing like my language and how to properly follow up. And I bought into another mentorship program to help launch my coaching program. And like, I just kept moving and not staying stagnant and getting different perspectives. And um, now I've got this whole system that is completely my own. Really. I've never found it on the internet anywhere and where it incorporates my fan page the group strategy and TikTok to make the content. And it's like this big organic machine that it just like, I'm my fan page is monetized. Um, I mean, my results aren't typical probably, but I made $800 last month from Facebook, like just awesome. from posting videos on Facebook. Um, and then, I mean, I've made commissions and stuff. I don't want to really get into all that, but like I can talk about the monetization cause that's just a Facebook thing. You know what I mean? Like, right, right, right. but, um, yeah. And then, you know, I'm getting loads of new leads into my funnels and, you know, I'm able to test that stuff. And it really, it really boils down to getting traffic and the cheapest way to get traffic right now is 30 second content. Um, I, I so, agree with you on that one. I agree with you on that one. I, I mean, it's not just you saying it, it's everybody, it's the world saying it. I mean, I, I was listening to somebody, somebody else talking today that just said, if you're, if you're not doing that, you're screwing up. So, you know, people are just, they, you know, they're, they're saying Facebook's still good, but people are jumping off of Facebook like crazy and going to TikTok. I mean, it's just that, I mean, that's, yeah. that is, you know, and that is the, that's, that's the why, future. And that's why Facebook's paying you to post them on Facebook because they want those people back on their platform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's why reels exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, uh, so tell me, I mean, and I don't think this is giving anything away from your your, your I'll, I'll course or anything. Like, tell me about tell me about tell me about monetization on Facebook. How, how does one go about doing that? I, I I'm clueless on that. So basically, like when you first start out, like I'm a huge fan of consistency. We need to be posting. Like yep. I've just been doing like one a week, one real week on my fan page. Like I'm not going crazy with this. Like yeah. on TikTok, I'm hammering it every day with four a day. But my, my fan page strategy is just like really just keeping it going and keeping that content flowing. Um, and then basically what will happen is you'll hit one that goes viral. And then when it goes viral, you'll see like a little bonus on the top of your like mobile browser when you're in the mobile. Yeah. You know where it says on the top there is like overview and it sh shows your ads and stuff. Yep. It'll be like a little thing that says reels bonus. And then you'll go to activate it. You put your company um, like information in basically all your LLC information. And then it's a 30 day rolling 
um, like reels bonus. And then at the end of the 30 days, they pay you out and then you just awesome. keep going. And I think the max payouts like 35 grand or something. Wow. Um, so. You know, somebody had told me about that one time, but I just had no idea how, how one goes about doing that. So it just happens automatically if, if you hit, if you hit a, if you go viral or something. Yeah. It, awesome. seems, it seems like that. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I had basically to in order in order to achieve those numbers, I, I had three hundred and thirty five thousand views in order to wow. achieve eight hundred dollars on, on one video. Um, so I had the, the big one that really changed everything was this Grant Cardone duet. Um, and I, had, I remember I remember that one. One hundred and fifty five thousand on that one. It was actually more than his original video. So okay now okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question. So there's no copyright problems with using that at all. Well, I it's me, like I'm yeah. on the I'm on the screen. I have my own headline, and you know I have my own information on there. Yeah. And okay. <laughs> I mean, I, cool. Oh, so in yeah. TikTok, in TikTok, when you go to make a duet or a stitch, like yeah. the user that makes that content has the yeah. ability to turn that off. You're right. So he granted fair game he granted me like yeah. permission to use it so that's true i mean any any publicity is good publicity so yeah true story awesome that that is awesome good stuff good stuff let's see if we got anything out here going on cooking vids take a bit of time yep they sure do sam that's that's why i don't do them very often <laughs> but, uh, all right um let's see what else i got here to tiktok so so how many followers do you have on tiktok um, I have about 5,000, I think a little over 5,000. Wow. Wow. Um, I started this channel November 1st. Um, but to be honest, like, uh, I have a mentee right now, Lee Galvin, he's probably on this slide. He, yeah, um, he, I know he, he had, he had asked to, to come on. I, I just granted him permission to like yeah. 10 minutes before this, this, this deal. So yeah. yeah, he, he has been insane. I mean, he, he has one video near 200,000. He just told me, um, wow. and he just started his channel like 21 days ago. And I think he's wow. up to like 1500 followers already or somewhere in that range. It's like unbelievable what the power of this, what TikTok can do for an individual. Like it's insane. Well, and, and again, I know that you have, you got a course out there and, and you're selling that, but, and, and without giving too much away, is it, it's not just strictly hashtagging on TikTok, is it? No, it's, I mean, it's, it, the big thing is the viral sounds. Like you have to have a good strategy for viral sounds. TikTok's heavily built on that. Yeah. Um, you have to have a really good solid hook. Like yeah. it's, the way the content, I like explain it, how to break it down completely. Um, yeah. Hashtags, I wouldn't say they're not really too big of a deal, but there is a strategy behind that, of course. Yeah. Um, and really just getting really just getting those four videos out a day like that's and cert posting them like at certain times and then you know it, it's it's really not that insane but it's just a matter of you know like anything you need to have training and you need to really be consistent with it well, I, I, I remember some i'd heard somewhere tiktok kind of opens the gates to you after like 60 to 90 days if you're consistent the, you know they, they loosen up the algorithm for you i don't i don't know if that's true or not but you know whatever but well, well to be honest though like andreas kindred he's in the mentorship yeah. i did and he had a channel that he started like six months ago and we're like i'm like andreas just you know implement the strategy i'm teaching you it, it might not work yeah. because you know the algorithm learned what you were doing so like basically the way it works is it puts you in a block so when you're in that block and you start creating content that's different than that block, like it's going to be very difficult for that person to reach more audience. Um, so basically what happened with him, I'm like, you know, get the reps in, get, get this strategy dialed in. And then we're going to clear that channel out. We're going to start a new channel. Yeah. He did that last Saturday. He has two videos over 20 K and I think he's on the way to a hundred, hundred a thousand followers within the first week of having the channel. I think he's up to like 750 followers. Wow. So it's really the strategy and those first four videos are, that's what really determines your channel. In my personal opinion, what I've seen, like, hmm. yeah, it's like what sets the growth rate of what, yeah. like where that you're in that window. Wow. Um, so wow. that's awesome. Well, that, that's a great lead in to let's talk about your course. Let's what, 
I mean, how much are you willing? How much are you willing to say here? I mean, how much is your course, or how do we sign up for it? What, what, what do we do? I, I, I have no problems with you with you giving us your sales pitch if you want to. Yeah, right on, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going to be launching it. I have a live coming on Saturday um, on my fan page, and that's really going to just basically describe the nuts and bolts of bolts of organic marketing and TikTok, and just bring awareness around that piece and like what what our, I've done, and also a couple of mentees. Um, Barry's going to be on there. Um, Andreas is going to be on there. We're just going to have like a group meetup. Um, and then it's basically at the end of that, I'm going to, I'm going to launch it and just see how it goes. And um, basically it's going to be an eight week, um, what I call hybrid group coaching. Um, so the first four weeks will be a um, like course led, like um, group, like training of implementation, um, like of all the information. So you, and then the second four weeks will be one-on-one -on -one coaching with me directly. Um, I've also started a mastermind group. So you're really getting uh, two sessions a week. You're getting the four group sessions in initially, and then a second group session in the mastermind group. And then you're getting a four one-on-ones with the second mastermind group. And you get access to that mastermind group for life. Right. Um, so as, as far as you want to go with it and stay activated, we meet up and, eventually obviously as the group grows i'll probably do more meetup sessions during the week and stuff like that awesome um so yeah it's basically the whole tiktok strategy like really honing in your group messaging with from your questions your like theme um i mean you could talk to some people in here they might be able to drop it in there like messenger follow-up scripts like email follow-up scripts like um, and then like how to manage your fan page appropriately for when that video does go viral, you know, like what to do with that and how to move those people properly into your group. Um, right. And then the end, the last four, the fourth week of like the course, quote unquote, is like an automated systems because I'm super into Entresoft. And, you know, I, what I found, too, is like Entresoft is a wonderful program. I'm a huge advocate of it. But a lot of us that are just starting out don't need that high level of automation. So what I've done is I've put together like a system that you can use um, that's one cheaper and two less confusing um, for that brand new entry level affiliate that um, like doesn't need that high level of like CRM and follow up. Um, right. So we basically sit down and you decide if you want Entresoft or you want this other system. Um, and then we implement that like in, yeah. in week four too. So um, it, there's a lot of value and it's, it's jam packed, man. I mean, I think the, yeah. courses, the, the sessions are like an hour and a half. Awesome. Um, so awesome. you're getting a lot. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So are you, are you going to throw a price out there or no? Oh yeah. So, um, right now it's 1500 for the okay. eight weeks and then you get the mastermind course for life. So, um, and I have that, I have that half off coupon, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you did give me the prime rib in the waiting room. So yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so he says, Sam. So, so that is awesome, and I might even think consider doing that. So, I mean, I, I you know, I've been struggling with TikTok. I'm sure everybody's been struggling with TikTok, um, and that's you know what, awesome, uh, awesome for you for throwing something together like that. That's great. You 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 had nothing but time to throw it throw at it. So that's that's, that's awesome. Um, so let me throw it out to the to the audience out here. Anybody have questions for Jonathan? If you did, and there's always a delay, Jonathan, just to let you know, it's always like a 30 second delay. It seems like forever. But uh, yeah. <laughs> totally. any, anybody? So Jonathan, you ever going to go to impact? My plan is to do it. Yeah, I've yeah. I definitely like have to get out of a little bit of a financial hole. Um, gotcha. I went through separation. I sold my house. I had to give all my money away, basically. Um, yeah, I've been there, done that. <laughs> so I, I really do plan to do it. I'm sure your experience was awesome, right, Lee? How was how did how did your experience go? Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. And I think probably most of these people on here, well, not all of them. Sam's been there, uh, but yeah, is I bet I've been there. And then I went and staffed it when my wife went, and it, it both been awesome. I know you've been to Insight, uh, Insight on steroids, like times a hundred. It's freaking awesome. Um, so Sam came back and he says, "Where were you when I started? <laughs> yeah, 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 where were you when I started TikTok? That's true. I, I would probably say the same thing. Um, anybody else have any other questions for him? Anybody?" Bueller, Bueller. 
Y'all love Lee, man. You're like the king of the room, man. I, love, I remember when we were at, at Insight, man. You were such, you're so fun to hang out with. I really, yeah, I, I loved hanging out with you too. And I mean, it, I don't know. Somehow we've been hanging out kind of online since the very beginning. I think you're like a month or two ahead of me in this whole deal. But uh, I've, you know, I've, I've been, I've been following you and chasing you through this whole whole mess. Let's see. Here we got Sam says, uh, "Oh, <laughs> trade you a cheesecake for mentoring." <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of cheesecake, Sam. Uh, <laughs> he'll, he's probably got a 1993 uh, Mercedes. He'll trade you for it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I want that either. Though, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Well, I tell you what, Jonathan, this has been awesome. I like to keep these to a half hour or less, and we are right at the half hour mark. Um, mm -hmm. I am going to uh, influence here in, in about – two or three weeks. So that's where all my money is at right now. But I think you might be hearing from me at the end when I get back, because I would love to do what you're talking about. I, you know, an acceleration of what I'm already doing would be awesome. And, uh, and who wouldn't, and I wish you the, the most luck. And, you know, I'm going to grab onto your tails and, 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 uh, you drag me right along with you. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm really just trying to uh, like build that elite community too of like those that high level entrepreneur. Like, and yep. then like my second level is going to be really bringing your own digital product to market. Like basically what I'm doing. Yeah. So like that's the long term vision too. It's not like we're just stopping there. We're going farther, baby. Yeah, you, <laughs> we're going to the moon. I, I love I love what you're doing. I, I I can already see it. I love what you're doing. It's I, I I've been watching you and I've got like that son of a bitch. No, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, it's awesome. And and I I wish you all the luck and thank you very much for coming on. And uh, thank you for cleaning out the green room of all the freaking snacks that the per the Perseus didn't eat. Um, uh, and uh, <laughs> Leslie says, "To the top, man." Yep, I agree. I agree with that. And uh, and let's talk. Let's talk in a couple of weeks. I, I will. I will. Uh, I, I will uh, message you when I get back from influence. Absolutely, I'd like to have you in, as an interview too, Lee, because I do an interview oh. series as well. So absolutely, I would, would love it. That. And this is going to be on YouTube, Jonathan. So close this out. Tell us what you want. Tell tell the metaverse what you want to say to them. I mean, just pretty much. You can find me on in social media mechanic. Oh yeah, uh, Facebook. Thank group, you. Um, meet media mechanic John on TikTok, and that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, I, I still don't. I do the the mechanics and money thing a little bit, but I've kind of iterated past that now. It's more of social media mechanics. Um, oh, okay. I did not know that. Like. I'm still using it and keeping it in my back pocket because there might be a use for that because I still have that like kind of mind. Like that's more of like a personal development thing, I think. Okay. Like, I build in, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm just kind of holding it in my pocket. <laughs> so you are social media mechanics. And is that, is that a group on Facebook? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Social media. Is that the one with the wrench? Or is yeah. that one? The orange yeah. wrench, yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. That, that's a very cool logo, by the way. I saw that. <laughs> and uh, and then on TikTok, you are Media Mechanic John. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Very cool. And then on Facebook, just Jonathan Ploransky. So everybody knows where 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 to talk to you. And when I post this on uh, YouTube, I'll have all of those things on there. And if you have anything else you want me to put underneath there on the on the YouTube, it'll probably go up next week. Just. Make sure you text text that over to me, okay, Jonathan? All right, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks very much for being on the, on the on the uh, in the club with me tonight. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, see you all later. See you guys. See you guys.